Welcome to Timberborn. Timberborn is a very cute and nice uh, new city builder that hasn't released yet, so I should specify that this is a beta build, as it says down in the... Uh, hey, anywhere here, well... Anyways, it is a closed beta, and uh, thank you so much to Mechanistry for providing me with a free press key for the game. The description of the game is uh, fairly amusing. So you see, humans are long gone. Will your society of lumberpunk beavers do any better? And I like the wordplay there on steampunk, because this is not steampunk, this is a lumberpunk, because it's beavers. Timberborn is a city-building game featuring ingenious animals, modular architecture and water control mechanics. And it is available in closed beta. Now, look up the game uh, to see how you might be able to get into the closed beta if you're interested. But there is also a link in the description of the video for the uh, Steam store page of the game and uh, the game is scheduled to launch in quarter one 2021 so not that far off i've played the game a fair bit and i found it very very fun so i've already unlocked one of the uh, additional races but uh, we will be playing as the common beaver and not the eager beaver uh, the common beavers lead a healthy, balanced lifestyle, and they are great for the first playthrough. They have added uh, five maps to the game from the beginning. Uh, you can, if you want to, actually create a map yourself or edit one of the existing ones. But we'll just go with the uh, default waterfalls map and play as the common beavers. So let's jump right into the game. And while it's loading, notice this tip here. If a building is marked as a stackable, such as a lodge or a warehouse, you can build other structures on its roof. So the game also provides some fairly interesting ways to deal with uh, architecture and verticality, as you can see here. We start out with a builder's hut, <coughs> a small warehouse, and a lumberjack flag. And as you can see, the uh, warehouse is underneath the builder's hut, so uh, this is an example. There are also some platforms here. This is an example of the verticality right off the bat. Now, the beavers quite obviously use wood for their uh, construction uh, plans. And um, we have some basic things that we can uh, build down here. We have the paths and structures, is that there's um, a lock on some of these, they unlock for science points. We have landscaping, where we can uh, terraform the landscape using dams, leves and dynamite. We have storage buildings, we have labour buildings, we have housing, lodges are mirrored and regular lodges. The mirror only changes where the door is, but that is actually fairly important when you're dealing with these uh, vertical platform things. Food and water. We have a water pump. We have gatherer flags for gathering blueberries. We have farmhouses. We have grills for grilling potatoes. Grist mills to grind wheat into flour and bakeries. Woodworking. Here we have... Uh, your average uh, collection of buildings that is required for uh, processing and logging. Wood. Power. Uh, water wheels. Uh, some buildings do require power, and uh, an example of that is, for instance, the, um, the carpenter. You can see power input 50 HP. I assume that is horsepower. And uh, the carpenter makes planks from logs, but we don't need that quite yet. You also see that it says requires power to operate. There are some leisure leisure buildings, leisure leisure campfires, where beavers can relax and socialize in the evening. Uh, must be built on the ground. That is a uh, usually says that as well. Temples, printing presses, and a carousel. There are some decorations, and of course there are some monuments. Now, the game is still in, in beta, as I've mentioned. 
So they will be adding more buildings to the game as the uh, development progresses. But for now, uh, let's just start building and some uh, things. Uh, we want to provide our uh, citizens or beavers, I guess, with uh, water. Uh, that is a fairly important uh, part of beaver life. See, they can't go to the to the river and drink themselves, so they need a pump. I guess they're a little bit lazy. We want to have a gatherer flag, um, so that we can uh, pick some uh, tasty blueberries. I think we'll have that down here for the time being. In the storage section, we need a log pile, because this icon here indicates that these can't do anything because no log pile in range. We will build a log pile as well. We'll do that here. And I think we'll also get right on building a farmhouse because food, I have heard, is a good idea. We can move this later on if necessary. Uh, of course, all of these things require logs, but they will be built... I don't think that one will come, actually. So we... Ah, okay, let's not build the farmhouse. This doesn't require logs, this doesn't require logs. What we will do, however, is add another lumberjack flag. Uh, we can just do that there. Uh, when you place a building... Let's, for instance, take this Builder flag. You can see this white... Uh, what is it called? Um, aura? Uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, influence sphere, I guess. Fairly common usage for it. That uh, influence sphere does uh, tell you how far the beavers working in the building are able to go. Um, it will be extended by building uh, paths, so that is um, a mechanic of the game that you need to, to be aware of when you play the game. Let's start up uh, the simulation, and I think we'll just play on X3 speed, because uh, we don't want them to... Uh, or we don't want things to take too long. Okay, so we have a log pile and have a gatherer flag. It automatically uh, provides workers for most buildings. Some buildings you can actually set how many workers you want to have in. Our population is currently 11 beavers, 7 adults and 4 children. None of them have any housing, so they live on these uh, tiny sleeping mats. Uh, we have no jobless beavers. Four of them are working as lumberjacks, and uh, one of them as a gatherer, and two of them are builders. Now, you may notice that none of the trees have been cut, so we have to manage the tree cutting areas. And that is a very simple thing, you just look and drag. Um, do note that it actually respects the uh, cliff walls, which is something that I... Uh, I'm very uh, happy with, especially when dealing with uh, planting crops, which is uh, an important part of the game. Because if you, I mean, there is a staircase here, so they can go up there. There's two natural staircases here, but it is very, very useful that if I want to plant potatoes, they are only planted on the level at. So that is a very good feature uh, that they've added there. Okay, so the beavers are out uh, munching trees, I suppose. It doesn't appear that they have any kind of tools, so... Different trees provide different amount of uh, logs. These pine trees provide two logs, and I think some of them can provide more. But uh, two is the um, general amount that a pine tree will provide. The birch trees will provide one log, and there are also maple trees. I don't know if there's any of those nearby. Here, they, those provide eight. Uh, I don't think they provide eight when plant. Oh, they do. Yeah, because you can plant the trees as well if you have foresters. The birch are one, but 
and take nine days to grow. Pine is two, take 12 days to grow. While maple is eight, but takes 24 days to grow. So, yeah, uh, if you have the time to wait, the maple is the best tree. There's a building that lacks a worker. Uh, that would be the water pump. Uh, so we'll take away one of the lumberjacks and make sure that uh, we have a beaver working in the water pump so that we get water for our poor beavers. And I think we can build some paths now. Not that they will work during night time, but... Um, beavers need their sleep. Uh, there's a bush in the way there. Let's remove that. But we can continue the path down here. I'm not sure about this because uh, we might need more water pumps here. Uh, well, we could use platforms, but I don't have them. Just have them build the paths. Uh, these trees are not fully grown yet, so... Um, but we do have 26 logs and 134 berries, so let's build a couple of lodges. Uh, we want the mirrored ones here. We can put the doors to... That way. And then... To there. I have a one green down to connect up that staircase. Yeah, I'm going to have to remove trees. Maybe we can let them grow first. One beaver has no job. Let's uh, add another lumberjack. They are thirsty, but the water pump is pumping water, so everything is good there. Some of these names. Yemuja, Yeja, Mezil, Joslozi, Igelkes. I like these names. Rujabu, Zulrea, Akkalai. I, there doesn't appear to be any berries left down here. So we can build another. Gather a flag. Let's see. That way, and we can build it here. We also need some uh, science done, because uh, uh, otherwise, like, say for instance, the, um, the platforms and the staircases require science points. So let's build an inventor's hut. And oh, that is perfect. Two of them. Find one another here. Build one of those there. No beaver grew up today. I really do want to farm. We do need more beaver. Why are these... Oh, they're building the road. Okay, well, I can remove some of the road. Don't need this road either, just now. I don't need the road at all. What I do need is the... The buildings, and I... Let's just build two of the houses. We'll go and uh, pick up the logs in the uh, log pile and uh, build the building. So, uh, lodge satisfies sleep and comfort, and you have this average well-being. So, they are happy on level 3 because they have hunger, they have thirst, and they have sleep. That is, 11 out of 11 beavers have all those things satisfied. And if we get 
the all of them housed or lodged i suppose we will also satisfy the comfort nutrition one i believe we need carrots before we get nutrition one there are also potatoes and those can be uh, must be grilled before they can eat them and there is wheat wheat as uh, catherine would say and uh, the wheat uh, can be uh, grinded into flour and then baked into bread that is a huge surprise to everyone let's uh, get those other lodges now each of the houses will uh, house two adults and um, how many children one one child uh, let's uh, is this correct yeah, it is correct uh, but that is not correct I want the exit to be facing upwards let's uh, remove the uh, actually it's easier to remove the tree stumps by um, just building roads on top of them then removing said road again We need a beaver to grow up. Ah, there we go. One beaver has no job. And that beaver is now an inventor. Kivolmax. I'm not sure if I can rename these guys. Oh, I can. But, yeah, I would use my Patreon naming list for this, but... Um, it takes... Uh, th they don't live that long, and uh, eventually we will have a lot of beavers, so uh, I don't think I want to spend the time uh, doing that. Uh, I do apologize for that to uh, all my patrons. I hope you understand. Let's see here. Let's get rid of that, 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 uh, and that. Okay, let's speed the game down a bit. We have these houses building. We have 71 logs. We have plenty of berries. Uh, I do want to farm. I think I will build the farm here. Just a matter of waiting for them to build the uh, the lodges and the farm. Uh, the farm doesn't require any planks, does it? No. Look. We are going to need more uh, more uh, logging posts as well. But uh, we can't get a logging. Uh, we have too few population. It can... I'm not sure what uh, attracts children, but I suspect that having lodges is uh, a critical part of how they create because uh, I assume that two parents need to have a lodge and have no child and then a child will um, be brought, brought in by the stork. Let's see, let's build a road like so. I turn air C. Now I'm building this pattern here out of experience. Um, 
There is a very specific reason why I'm building this pattern and it will become clear later on in the series. Is there a button to reset the camera to the default setting? No. We have one beaver without a job. Um, well, that beaver can become a farmer. 10 out of 12 adults have been housed. We'll have 14, 16, we'll get that one done. I think I'll mark this or these three trees for demolition. They will have to build the roads first, but we can put that beaver into the builder's hut so we have three beavers doing building work. At least for now. Uh, this one, we don't want that to now. We want that to be cut by one of the uh, loggers instead. It grew up. A bit funny though, uh, the fact that uh, I have this tendency to uh, consider trees the, uh, the one true enemy in uh, builder games. Uh, in this game, I guess it's uh, more true than in any other game because uh, the trees are both the enemy and our friend all at once. We are absolutely dependent upon the trees to build things and the beavers, well, they are known for their um, tree um, munching capabilities. Aha! Our beavers are happier than ever. Reached a new well-being high score. Now level four. Um, I cannot unlock the fancy beaver in this uh, level since I'm playing with the common beaver and not the eager beaver. But, as I mentioned earlier, we have now satisfied the need for comfort for uh, a majority, or actually all, but a majority, I think only a majority is needed. At least when you get to a certain point. Uh, but all of our beavers are now uh, satisfied with their comfort as well. All we need now, or the next goal, I think, will be... Can we satisfy their social life yet? Yes, so social life is probably the next one. And then nutrition one is carrots. Aha. So. I think we have had a new, uh, yeah, Fuji been born. Yeah, one day old. That makes kind of sense. Uh, so I'm guessing since there is no assigned jobless. Okay. The farm is done. Uh, we can take one of the builders out. Uh, no, we don't really need to do that. Let's have three builders because uh, what we need to do now is plant and we want to plant carrots. Carrot satisfies nutrition one and it grows in four days. Potatoes, they um, take six days and wheat take ten days. Uh, one very nice thing with the farms is that uh, all the farmers will actually help one another. So if I have another farm building, uh, the farmers in all the farm buildings that are in the same area of influence will uh, do, whether it's planting or harvesting, and help one another out. Uh, how far do I want to go with this? Not there. I want to replace all of these berries with uh, carrots. So we can uh, mark these berry bushes for demolition. Not the one that has berries on it still. Because the sooner we can get rid of our dependency on berries, the better it is. Can it reach that? Yes, it can. I'm just going to mark 
Notice that some of these have a white icon. That means that they are too far away from the uh, builder's hut. Uh, that means I need a dirt path. You can also see that the beavers will prioritize building over uh, demolishing. Not sure if there is a setting to adjust that. But I don't mind. Ah, there is berries up there as well. Let's uh, mark the rest of them for demolition. Ah, now I demolished my um, carrots as well. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, sure, you can just... Uh, run up there. Uh, can build a road. How much science do we have? 48. Can I get... I need 60 for a forester. What else? No, our primary thing right now is that we need more beavers. Let's, um, let's build more uh, lodges. This lumberjack flag, I think we can safely move that. Build a rope down there. And woodworking, let's build a lumberjack flag. Rotate this and put it here. They will also go up the uh, staircase so we can mark the trees up here as cutting area as well. Trees do regrow, but very slowly if you do not have. Um, yeah, these are unreachable resources, as I mentioned. It's too far away from the builder's hut. And I totally lost what I was going to say there. Something about up here, but yeah. I have very many logs. Let's build a campfire to satisfy their need for... Uh, Social socialization. Yeah. That's a good spot. I say so. Might change this too, to be honest. And our log pile is reaching capacity. And I think we want another one then because it's not a good thing. To workers be idle. Uh, we can tear down this one and put the workers there. And we can plant some more carrots. Note that by planting more carrots now, these ones are already 32% uh, in their growth progress, while the new ones will be on zero. But that's not really a bad thing, having the, uh, the harvest happen on different uh, times, because we are going to need uh, plenty of food as time progresses. When this guy is done up here, I hope he can reach all of them. can He's done up here, I'll just tear down the gatherer flag. I think we do with those berries until we can harvest carrots. They can build another path going up here. We'll build it like that. I think we want to use the area up here for our farms, primarily. 
and we'll have houses down here. Hopefully we get some uh, newborn beavers to morning. Let's build a couple more couple more lodges. No new uh, births today. Two, uh, four, five. That should mean we can place down. Yep, perfect. I'll let these uh, birch trees, birch seedlings grow up. They are decent growth progress level so carrot seed why is that marked for demolition the road helped in terms of giving access to more of them let's build a road in there so that we can hopefully remove all the bush Yeah, it takes a while for the uh, yield to uh, regrow. See, <laughs> it's been a while since we uh, harvested down here, and uh, yield growth progress is uh, rather atrocious, actually. Which is why it's important to build a farmhouse. But the first thing that is most important to build from the beginning is a water pump. You need to build that as quickly as possible. Okay, so they have a campfire now. We probably need more of those. We can remove this one little tree here. can build another campfire down here, I think. Ah! We have satisfied their need for uh, social life. Excellent. So beavers are happier than ever. And we do have plenty of logs as well, so... All is good in, in Beaverhood. Still no new births, disappointingly enough. Ah yes, and they will prioritize building buildings before roads, and then they will prioritize building roads before tearing down things, and uh, that's, that's how it works. Not sure why they haven't prioritized this, but oh yeah, because that guy is already building there. A room for 24 adults and 12 children. Double our current population. Hopefully that'll stimulate the beavers into um, making little beavers. Not that I'm sure what those are. Oh, beaver cubs, beaver cubs, beaver... beaverlets. One beaver has no job because Vujihi has grown up. I think we want to build another arm. Or do we? Yes. We want to build another farm and we want to plant potatoes. And the carrots are starting to, uh, <laughs> I almost said blossom, ripen, that's the word I was looking for. I think we can remove that uh, gatherer flag. 
You don't get any resources back, by the way. Be aware of that. That might change. Uh, it Again, we are in a uh, closed beta here, so... A lot of things are up for change as of now. We might need another farmer to uh, harvest the crops. Those are some nice and big tasty carrots. We might need more storage. No, yet. Don't storage. Can also plant some more carrots here. But they will always prioritize harvesting over. Um, planting, but you can change that, so I can set Hakalai to prioritize planting instead of harvesting. And I do think that we might need another uh, gatherer flag. And I think we want the gatherer flag up here so that we can get some more berries, so let's rotate that. New child has been... No, oh, two, two, two new childes. Ukaugoth and Oyana. Excellent. This log pile is full. Building like workers. Let's take one of the uh, builders. We probably should consider unlocking something. We can build a grill to grill the potatoes, but we don't get any potato crops for a, a while yet, so... Beavers are happier than ever. We have reached level 6 of well-being. Note that that will go up and down, because you see now it went back down to 5 immediately, because only 14 of the 15 had enough social life and carrots. So, okay, all of them have to be placated when it comes to fulfilling. Where, where did the... Uh... Okay, we can take one of the lumberjacks. If you guys can just remove those, I will remove the road and uh, we'll have carrots in this entire area. Ah, there we go. Okay, now let's delete the, the road. Yep. And plant crops. As you can see, this entire area, including a bit up there, is covered by the farm. So we'll plant carrots in this entire thing. And there we go with the respecting the cliffs thing. Do notice that little tile there, if I pull too far. But, yeah, good. Excellent. We have one jobless beaver. We have plenty of logs, so let's build another farmhouse here. Hundred and seventeen science. I'm not sure what we should unlock. A forester perhaps? No. No, no, actually what we're going to unlock is the staircase. Uh, uh, you can build the stairs so that they can uh, get up cliffs uh, without these natural uh, stone stairs. We are lucky enough to have three of those natural stone stairs, but from there on you have to build stairs to get up. Uh, Renjai was born. It's good. Uh, 
Uh, we have zero jobless beavers, good. Jomudu on. Four children. They're growing quickly. Probably means we need more water. I think I want Mezel to prioritize planting as well, while Vuadjuagas uh, and uh, Vuji can uh, focus on harvesting the crops. Ah. Over there is. Uh, let's just uh, get rid of these stumps so that they don't regrow. Potatoes take a fair amount longer to grow, as I mentioned. The difference is 4 to 6 days and 10 days for the wheat. We'll get around to the wheat eventually, uh, but for now that is a resource it's for nutrition 3. It requires power and it requires unlocking certain things in here. We need to unlock the grist mill, we need to unlock the bakery, which is 120 signs all in all. And one thing that I do want to unlock as well is the platform that requires 100 signs. We have 65. So we need another inventor's hut as quickly as possible. I don't know why the productivity is at 97% since they don't need anything. That's another thing we can build. We can build another science or inventor's hut there. Let's put this guy back on this thing. And uh, my set just out of battery so that it goes quickly so that I can place the battery. Be right back. The pause screen probably won't. we go sorry about that so I'm setting this to uh, harvesting so that uh, we have three beavers doing carrot harvests because there are only three slots left to plant and uh, Hakalai can do that on his own and we only need these berries as a backup that I want to build a log pile. Okay, what I do want to do is actually build this road like this instead. Demolish that. And we want a log pile here and here. And on two carrots to fill this with carrots. Actually, there is one thing that we do want to do, which is mark resources for demolition. Not those. Those. And we want to build another uh, campfire. And then we want to have a lumberjack flag. See, I'll build it in there. But that's fine. 
and I want that lumberjack flag to be zoom out. I wanted to cover this uh, just here. Good. Up there. And let's mark this area as a tree cutting area. I didn't really need to do it over here. I don't want to want them to start cutting trees up there just yet. Five beaver children would one building that lacks workers, which is this inventor's hut. But I think we want to tear down this lumberjack here now. Because we don't we're not gonna have any trees in here anyways, so this one down here combined with one we're building up here should suffice. Very good. Now let's build a campfire there. And remove one of these lumberjacks and don't have anyone there currently. We now have two inventors, Kakugoth and uh, Kevolvax. Perfect names for Crazy inventors, huh? We don't need two farmers at the moment, though, so we can take one farmer from there. And I think it's time to start removing uh, berry bushes that are not bearing fruits. And... No, not, not yet, but I do need a forester. But the one thing that I want to um, is... Actually, I do want to walk the... Question, where do I want the forester? Probably up here, actually. And then we want to build a path. Stop there, so we can have a staircase. Now, the staircase requires planks, and we don't have that yet, but I'll just leave it there. Let's turn it off so that it doesn't build. And we will build a road along here. And this is two up, so let's uh, have room for two staircases there with a the road going up. Just like this. Go. Now we can run that road a bit. I if we need to go up there. That's three in height, though. I will probably want to go up there. So one, two, three, four. We need to use platforms to get up there. Unreachable construction site. Yeah, all of this is, or most of this from here on out is unreachable because we don't have a builder's hut that is close enough. Uh, we can use the builder flag, but uh, penalty to carrying and building speed by 50% is not really uh, desirable. Ah, we have a jobless beaver. Uh, let's make it a, him a farmer. I'm not sure if it's a him or a her, but...
these are at 68 percent which means that it is time to plant more potatoes so that we have potatoes coming in at all times and we can mark these uh, berry bushes here for demolition i accidentally moved some of the uh, potatoes as well there But with the nightfall coming here, I think that this might be a good time to end the episode. hope that you uh, think that the game looks as interesting and fun as I feel the game is. So I hope that you enjoyed the episode and uh, please do leave co uh, your feedback about the game in the comments if you want to. And I will see you all in the next episode.